will guide you through how to play PS5 games on your phone and this is going to work both on iPhones and Android devices. For this setup you will need to use your PS5 but then after that you can go and use it anywhere where you've got Wi-Fi. The first thing we need to do is go and open up the App Store or Play Store so go and open it up and we need to go and get the PlayStation app. So tap on search and then tap on search again. Then type in PS Remote Play just like this and the app should appear is this one here. So what you'll need to do is go and click on get and then we can go and download it just like this. After it's downloaded, open it up just like this. And what you will need to do is go and sign in to PSN. So click sign into PSN. So type in your PSN email and then type in your password. You can then choose the data you want to share. So choose a decision here. I personally just shared limited data, but it's completely up to you. And then we can go and configure our controller. So to do this, we can close off the PS app and we need to open up our Bluetooth settings. So open up the settings app, then tap on Bluetooth. You should have a similar option on your Android device as well. Once you're in Bluetooth, then what you need to do is get your controller and we need to go and put it into pairing mode. So to do that, you need to hold the button in the top left of your controller and also the PlayStation button, which is just here in the middle there, just that it's the PlayStation logo. And what you need to do is hold these both together until the controller starts flashing blue. So it'll take a few seconds, keep holding it and it's now flashing blue. And then on your device, you should then go and see it. And then what you can do is just go and tap on it like that and it will go and connect. After it's connected, we can go back to the Remote Play app and we can then go and tap OK here. And then you can choose what you want to connect. So I want to connect to PS5, you probably want to do the same. And then it says before connecting to your PS5, we need to go and do this. So let's do it. On your PS5, we need to go and open up our settings. So just go to the top right and click on settings like so. In settings, then go down to system. And in system, go down to remote play like this and make sure enable re remote play is turned on like mine is. If you can't go and turn it on and it's grayed out, it's likely because your PS5 isn't your primary one. To go and change this, let's go back to our main settings, go into users and accounts, and then go down to other, and make sure you go into console sharing and offline play, and make sure this is enabled. For me, it already is, but if yours isn't, tap enable. I'll press don't because mine is already is, then I'll press back, and once you've done that, come back to system and turn on remote play. After remote play is turned on, go into power saving and go into features available in rest mode. And then you need to make sure stay connected to the internet is switched on. And once you switch that on, make sure enable turning on PSIs from network is also turned on as well. That's it. The final thing we need to do is leave our PS5 in rest mode. To do that, you can go and tap on the PlayStation button and then go down and go to the far right and click on power and then tap on enter rest mode. After you've done it, then come back here and press OK. And it'll go and take a moment to load and it's then searching for connections. So just wait here. And now it's gone and loaded. So as you can see, we've got a load of controls on our screen here. We've got our remote, which we can go and use. And it will take a moment for the screen to get clear as well. It may be a bit blurry. So you can just go and rotate your phone to make it full screen. And now I've just started matchmaking. So you'll have to go and see how good your connection is because sometimes if you've got a poor connection, playing sort of competitive games will be hard uh, because of the latency and latency basically being sort of the delay between pressing a button and it actually happens. But if you find that it gets too laggy, then you can always try playing non-competitive games. But as you can see, this is pretty good. When I press X, as you can see, it's pretty much immediate. So it is a pretty good connection. And that's it guys. That is how you can play PS5 games on your phone. After you finish with the remote play, what you need to do is press on the gear or cog icon in the bottom left and you can then disconnect your session. Make sure you leave your PS5 in rest mode so you can go and connect to it again in the future when you want to use it again.